Hey everyone, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at Lynx from Hasbro's new Fortnite Victory Royale 6 inch series. I ordered this from Amazon for $22.99. If you'd like to own your own, then I have a link for you in the pinned comment below. If we take a look over here on the left side of the box, it shows us exactly which accessories are included. Otherwise, there's really nothing to look at from the box. For those who want to see the barcode, here it is. It's time to get this figure out of the box and take a look at her. If you are new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your epic account. It's McDowan. Lynx is a legendary skin and is part of the Lynx set. Released in Chapter 1 Season 7, this skin was part of the Battle Pass at Tier 1. This action figure represents Style 5, or the top style, that you were able to unlock later that season figure looks really pretty cool. She comes with the scratch mark harvesting tool, which is the harvesting tool of her set, and it looks nice. For the back bling, we get the stitches pack, and that's just a fun, crazy, kind of scary looking back bling. <laughs> and for the weapon, we get a compact submachine gun that looks like this. And it's medium bendy. It's, we're getting kind of used to how Hasbro is making these accessories. Link stands about six inches tall, as you can see there, and I'll do some quick comparisons. Here is Ripley from the same line. You can see how tall he is compared to how tall she is. We'll bring in a G.I. Joe Scarlet figure so you can kind of see how tall they are. We'll swap Ripley out for Jazzwares Ghoul Trooper from their Fortnite line, and you can see they're pretty similar in height there. I can't get Ghoul Trooper to stand very well. But uh, yeah, so then we will swap it out. Here's Mandalorian from the Star Wars Black series. So you can see that Hasbro makes figures that are generally about the same height. There's Cobra Trooper. He's a little bit taller. We'll swap out Scarlet and put in Master Chief from Jazz Wars Halo. As you can see, he's so tall, he sticks off the screen there just a little bit. Gives you an idea of how tall this figure is. So she's right about the six inch uh, height. This figure has over 20 points of articulation. Just from some rough eye estimates, I'm thinking almost 33 to be kind of inexact precise. I don't know. Let's take a look here. So this figure is also like Ripley doing the pinless joints. So if I turn her sideways, you can see you can't see the pins protruding there inside. We'll start at the base. So she's got a hinge and a rotation at the ankle. There is nothing at the boot cut here. She's got a double pin at the knee. She's got a rotation at the thigh. It's hidden here in the boots, so it doesn't distract from the design of the figure. So it's kind of a little bit different, kind of a slight diagonal. If you want her to do the splits, just she's a cat. She can. She's very flexible. If you want her to sit, she could sit. If you want her to uh, jump out of the battle bus, she can uh, do it about like that. So she's got several uh, points right there. Her waist rotates back and forth just a little bit. There's a, a ball joint in there. Her torso also has a ball joint, so she's got two points right there. If you want her to bring her arms up, she can go about that high. She has some soft shoulder pads up here. That if you take the arms too high, I don't know if you would break them off or not. So just be careful of that. There is a very small butterfly joint. I'm not even sure you could call it a butterfly joint. It doesn't do a whole lot. She has a bicep rotation, double pin at the elbow, a rotation at the wrist, and an up and down hinge for her, her wrist. Finally, she's got a ball joint for the head. So the head can rotate all the way around up and down and there's even something right here in the neck that moves back and forth so there's a connection between the torso and the neck so it, it's about 33 points of articulate oh i forgot one she has a ball joint on the tail it can go all the way around like you're winding her up that's kind of bad <laughs> um but yeah kind of just moves around like that just a little bit that's really cool i like that this is on on a ball joint uh what's really neat is if you look here let's see if i can get closer these uh dark figures for some reason oops i flipped my light off these dark figures for some reason just i'm gonna 
crank up my brightness like crazy high. So if you see how they designed the tail, the waist piece has been cut out, has a little bit of a round cut out there to accommodate that. That way the tail isn't like in the middle of her lower back. It's actually in a more appropriate spot for this figure. And that's kind of cool. And while I've got the brightness cranked, let's show you a couple other really cool things on here. You'd think that she's just mostly uh, black and dark gray and light gray. Well, that's true. But right here, I'm even going to crank that brightness up just a little bit higher. She's got some pattern work on her boots. It's like a fish or something. In fact, I think that is exactly what it is as a fish. So there's actually some very slight detailing on the boots that's really cool and she's got some pattern work down here my camera doesn't want to follow me and then not to get terribly inappropriate uh, but right here under her torso area and on her side she's got the same kind of decorations right there it's like a little fish as best as I can tell and then some little decoration over there I'm gonna crank the Brightness back down a little bit, but there's a close-up of her face, of the head. She's got this braid that sticks down, so you might want to be careful there. That might uh, rip off just a little bit. Sorry that the brightness is going to be going up and down here, but uh, yeah, this is a the figure is really cool looking. Kind of difficult to stand if if you're not being intentional you can't just plop it down well I can now but uh, anyway yeah this is a pretty cool looking figure um, the fingers compared to Ripley let me uh, stop my autofocus here the fingers on this figure are you know let me come back real close again so you can see this I'll rotate it down but they're pretty pliable so it's really easy to to put a gun in this hand well both of her hands but it's really easy just to finagle a, a gun in there and she holds it really well because of that and you can pull the weapon out you could even um, pop in a harvesting tool I was off camera I think when I did all that <laughs> But you can even pop in the harvesting tool into her hand pretty easy. So yeah, very big difference between the Ripley hands and this figure's hands. Uh, very, very soft, very pliable. I don't know if Ripley was supposed to be soft and pliable hands or what. I'm not really sure. But it makes putting the accessories in this figure so much easier and so much better. Uh, she's got... Uh, some nice bends to her legs so you can uh, get her in like cat positions or something if you want to. I don't know. She's got little claws on her feet. I don't know. That's not really a cat position, is it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making it up real quick. But yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty cool figure. It's got some nice accessories. Hey, look at that. You could almost use her tail if you get her low enough. You could almost use the tail as like a prop <laughs> like so okay that okay that that might not be great anyway but yeah overall I think this is a really pretty neat figure I like the colors and I like how it's articulate or articulated and there's just a lot to like she she's a sleek looking figure and yeah, I just, it's just a cool figure. That's about all I got. The overall thought is this is a cool figure. Kind of like the back bling. That's just crazy. A great looking back bling. Anyway, I better wrap this up. Now it's your turn. What do you think about this figure? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. But before you go, check out my review of Ripley. Since I did just bring him in. Mr. Ripley, the transparent sl blue slurp guy. Uh, anyway, check out my review of Ripley in the lower left-hand corner if you haven't already. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like this video and share it everywhere if you found it helpful at all. Let's get her looking back here. Because uh, it does help the channel to grow. 
and grow a lot. I will see you in the next video.